Welcome back to Crafty Nanny, the channel with original stories and simple crafts designed to engage you and your little one. There's a new story each week, so remember to like, share, subscribe, and of course, come back next week to see what's new. Let's turn the page to begin. Today's story is Catch, Hedgy, and Scoot, Lucky Unicorn by Anushka R. Merrill. Hedgy's favorite accessory was her color-changing unicorn tiara. She wore it from the moment she woke up until she climbed back into bed at night. She did everything while wearing her tiara and felt like the luckiest unicorn around. Patch said she was a hedgicorn rather than a unicorn on account of her being a hedgehog. She wore the tiara while she brushed her teeth and with a muffled voice sang, Brush on my teeth, brush on my teeth, make them clean, make them white, so I brush with all my mouth, brushing my teeth. With her new unicorn tiara, even brushing her teeth was fun. She wore her tiara while watching Patch and Scoot's newest dance moves. Hey, Hedgicorn, look at this, Scoot called as he rolled around on the floor. Hedgie was tickled by their silliness. Her tiara turned gold with a dash of pink as she laughed. Hedgie even wore the tiara to sporting events. It turned blue when she tried to focus on remaining calm and hitting the ball at her baseball games. She wore it when she sang at the Kids of Doctors talent show accompanied by Dad on the piano. And when she did Boulder Ballet at twilight, her tiara matched the colors of the evening sky. Yes, Hedgie loved her unicorn tiara. They were inseparable. Until one day, the unimaginable happened. Oh no! My tiara! Hedgie yelled as she, Mom, Patch, and Scoot left the bookstore. Everyone was surprised by her loud voice in the very quiet store. Shh, Mom whispered. Come on, let's look for it. We have to find it, said Hedgie. It's my lucky charm. Hedgie, Mom, Patch, and Scoot looked through all the aisles trying to find the tiara. They looked in fairy tales and they looked in biographies. They looked in nursery rhymes, cookbooks, and in comics. But the tiara was nowhere to be found. Now what am I going to do? Hedgie said glumly as they walked home. Hedgie was very sad that her unicorn tiara was lost. She missed going for a swim in the pond as a hedgie corn. Patch and Scoot tried to cheer her up. They tried being nice to her, sharing their snacks, and even being extra silly. But nothing worked. Want to borrow my red truck, Hedgie? Patch asked while offering her his favorite toy. No. No, thank you, she said, sulking on her toadstool. Here, Hedgie, I got you some wildflowers, said Scoot. They remind me of going for a walk in the meadow with my tiara, said Hedgie, and she went back indoors. Hedgie really wasn't herself without her tiara. This made Patch and Scoot very sad as well, because they missed the old Hedgie. I know, said Patch. We can make her a better unicorn. That's a great idea, said Scoot. So with Mom's help, they cut pieces of fabric and gathered other supplies to make a stick unicorn for Hedgie. It truly looked magical with its rainbow mane. They hoped Hedgie would be surprised when she saw it. And she certainly was. Hedgie took her new unicorn for a spin around the hallway, forgetting that she had been missing her tiara. Then she hugged Patch and Scoot. Thank you, thank you, she said. This is even better than my unicorn tiara. Patch and Scoot were quite pleased with themselves for making Hedgie happy again. These days, Hedgie keeps her sick unicorn at her side from the moment she wakes up to the moment she goes to bed. She knew she was one lucky Hedgicorn to have amazing brothers like Patch and Scoot. The end. Make your own unicorn puppets by following the instructions in the video description box. You can even use the same steps to create a ride-on stick unicorn. Keep crafting and we'll see you next time.